Seniority entitlement. Not to be confused with getting your AARP membership is actually a concept in business where you reward your employees based on their length of service. In some policies, companies like to even award additional time off at key milestones such as 5, 10, or even 20 years of service. But how can you make managing and tracking such a thing as easy as possible? Enter the seniority entitlement add-on from Vacation Tracker. Designed to specifically automate this whole process, you can now set it, forget it, and watch as your team's loyalty gets rewarded with something far better than a cheap $50 watch. Hey, it's David from Vacation Tracker here, and today we have another exciting product tutorial for you, this time taking a closer look at the seniority entitlement add-on that we currently offer. Now to get started, what you're going to want to do is log into your Vacation Tracker account and navigate to the left-hand menu. We're going to click on add-ons to be brought to this page. You'll notice that you have two tabs available to you, My Add-ons and Discover More Add-ons. My Add-ons, as the name implies, are all the add-ons you've currently purchased and are available to use, versus Discover More Add-ons will show you all the add-ons that are currently available, as well as a few that are coming down the pipeline, so do be sure to check back often enough. Now just a quick note before we proceed, as you can tell, my account is currently a demo account, so I already do have a few add-ons activated, including seniority entitlement. But what you're going to want to do is head to this Discover More Add-ons tab, find the card for seniority entitlement, and then click on Review and Buy. And once you do so, it'll ask you to confirm your purchase, and the card will appear right here in the My Add-ons tab. Once that's done, you're going to click on the View button, and now we can start creating our automation. Let's start by creating a new automation from scratch. And to do so, I'm just going to delete this previous one that was here. And then once this is deleted, I'm going to click on create automation in the top right. Once inside the automation, it's as simple as filling out a few basic fields and making a few basic choices in order to properly define your policy. Then once you do so and click on create, it'll automatically get started. So let's go through each option one by one so you know what to expect when you're creating your automation. And the first step, as always, is to name said automation. And we're going to go with years of service, as typically you want to reward employees after X amount of years of service in your company. Next we choose, who does this get applied to? Is it to all employees in the company? Or perhaps there's only a few locations where there's policy in place. So make this choice based on your needs. I'm going to stick with the default yes for our example. Then we choose the leave type that is affected. As you can see here, I have four options, but this will be populated based on the leave types in your account. So choose the leave type that makes the most sense for this policy. I'm going to stick with vacation for our example. Next, we choose when does this start getting applied from? Is it as of today because it's a new policy we're putting in place? Or perhaps, and maybe more commonly, you want it to be based on the employee start date. Just note that as you can see here in red, it will affect user quotas in the past if you choose this option. Next, we're going to choose when these days get added from. Again, is it the employee start date? Or perhaps our PTO policy it resets at the beginning of the year, so we want to make sure that it resets at the same time. I'm going to stick the employee start date for my example, but once again, choose this based on your needs. Now let's take a look at whether or not we want to prorate this. This option allows you to prorate the amount of additional days given through this automation if the employee start date is different than the physical year. I'm actually going to suggest that you read through the tooltip here as they give a great example and you'll see if this applies to you or not. And if it does happen to apply to you, all you have to do is check yes on this option. Lastly, before we proceed to clicking create, we just need to decide on how many days are given after how many years. So let's say we want to give five days after five years, but then we want to award another five days after 10 years. You just got to click on the plus button here and then add that in and then choose the time amount. And now that we're ready to go, we just got to click on create. And you'll see here, you're just going to confirm that, hey, now that we chose to do this based on employee start date, it will adjust the quotas as we saw in that warning message before. So we're going to click on OK to proceed. And now your seniority entitlement automation is active. Now that the automation is active, something else I'd like to point out is if an employee checks their profile page and navigates down to their remaining balance in the quota tooltip, you'll actually see the breakdown, which includes the seniority entitlement allotment we just gave. 
And now more time served is equal to more time earned for your employees. Thanks again for watching this video. I do hope you find it helpful and informative, but as always, if you have questions, comments, or just want to leave a bit of feedback, you can do so right down below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. In addition to this video, we do have a few help desk articles on this topic. So if you'd rather learn about this add on that way, do be sure to check those out. That's all for this video for me. Happy vacationing.